Well, welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Professor Winter's Library of Horrors. I, of course, am your host, Professor Alistair Winters, and this is my library of horrors, where once a week I go deep, deep down into my vaults and bring back an example of the cinema of the horrific, or your terror and amusement. You must forgive my appearance this week. I was just ready to take a shower fully clothed, like a normal person, when all of a sudden I felt a strange ghostly presence emanating from the water circulating the old pipes of the Library of Horrors. This not only interrupted my chance to bathe, but made me think of tonight's feature, which explores these very ghostly themes. To the viewing room. In the late 1990s to the early 2000s, a series of films would be released that would codify the themes and visuals of what we now know as J-Horror. Not only would these films deal with Japan's ghostly folklore, interacting with characters in a modern, often urban, setting, they would also deal on a deeper level with Japan's culture changing in the face of modernity. This would be dealt with with isolation and the internet in Pulse, with the fear of technology in Ringu, and finally in tonight's feature, the changing nature of the family in Japan. Tonight's feature film is based on the short story Floating Water by Koji Suzuki and shares a creative team with some of the finest J-horror films. Its cinematographer, Junchiro Hayashi, worked on Pulse as well as Ringu, and it was directed by Hideo Nakata, director of Ringu. Like so many J-horror films of this period, it was also adapted for an American re-release, starring Jennifer Connelly in 2005. So tonight, sit back, relax, make sure you haven't left the water running, and enjoy the chills and feels of Hideo Nakata's 2002 horror drama, Dark Water. 